lovely trainers and other people hikers, psychics, picnickers, I don't know what you are, but hello, welcome, it's time for another rating of the Pokemon with me, Hilda. It's me, Hilda. Last week we ended with Crobat, today we are going to continue with Chinchou, the electric water Pokemon. Now first of all, as I said, Chinchou is an electric water Pokemon, which I think is a really fucking great typing combination. Electric and water, I love it, I love it, it's the best. Chinchu are underwater Pokemon and they communicate with each other through electrical pulses that come from the teardrop little antennae things on their head. They're pretty much fish, but for some reason in the anime they can walk on land even though they don't have a footprint in the Pokedex. I don't know if they even have feet. I don't know how they walk on land, but it's it's a pretty um, interesting thing about Chinchou. I don't know if it's Chinchu or Chinchou, but I'm gonna go with Chinchou because it sounds cuter. I don't know. <laughs> Here is a fun Pokedex fact about Chinchou. Chinchou's two antennas are filled with cells that generate strong electricity. This Pokemon's cells create so much electrical power, it even makes itself tingle slightly. Now, I like that. I think that's cute. Um, it's tingly. Well, I don't know what that sound was, but um, yeah, tingly uh, Pokemon. I'm a fan of tingly Pokemon. I actually never owned a Chinchou. I actually forgot Chinchou even existed for some weird reason, which is kind of bad. I'm sorry about that if you're a Chinchou lover. I mean, it's just not very significant or something. I don't know. It's cute though. Chinchou actually has a really cool name origin. It comes from the name Chochin, which means a lantern in Japanese. So they changed it around. They like Chochin, Chinchou. They, they switched some vowels and stuff. Chawa, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's in Chinchou, Chawa. Chawa is the Japanese word for harmony, which would like describe the harmony between the electric and the water type in Chinchou's typing. And I think that's really cool. And I give Chinchou four out of five, even though I forgot about her, I'm sorry. Chinchou then evolves into Lantern, which is a Pokemon that definitely comes from the football fish. So does Chinchou, but this one definitely looks way more like a football fish does. Like the football fish, Lantern lures its prey with its shiny bulbs on its head and then gulps them down and eats them. I can never imagine Pokemon eating other Pokemon. It sounds really weird in my head. They seem so peaceful, but they're not. They're actual animals. And I have a fun Pokedex fact for you from Pokemon Ruby. Lantern is nicknamed the Deep Sea Star for, li for its illuminated antenna. This Pokemon produces light by causing a chemical reaction between bacteria and its bodily fluids inside the antenna. Bodily fluids. It's just a word that never gets old, does it? <laughs> bodily fluids. A fun thing about uh, Lantern is that it actually has the same name in all countries. Now that doesn't really happen a lot. Usually the Germans and the French make up something silly. It's even the same in Chinese. Lantern was just the name and they're like, yeah man, dig it. Lantern. Four out of five. Next up we're starting with the baby Pokemon that were revealed in the second generation. We've got Pichu, we've got Cleffa, and we've got Iglybuff, but we're starting with Pichu. Now I think Pichu is completely adorable. It has some really adorable traits and like I don't like Pikachu, but I love Pichu and Raichu. A funny thing about Pichu is that they, they often are together and when they touch tails, it can create a cloud and a rain of sparks that make them cry. It makes them cry. That's fucking adorable. I mean, like, what? <laughs> Pichu. Also, when a Pichu is startled or shocked or surprised, it can let go a really big shock, but it cannot do that without actually shocking itself and it is just like an adorable, clueless, clumsy ass baby Pokemon and I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> oh, I just hurt my jaw. Here's a little fun Pokedex entry from Pokemon Silver. Despite its small size, it can zap even adult humans. However, if it does so, it also surprises itself. Cute! A fun thing about Pichu is that it used to be Yinichu Masuda. Did I say that right? Yunichi. Fuck. <laughs> Yunichi Mas. <laughs> Yunichi Masuda. I knew that, but I can't pronounce it. Yunichi Masuda. Yep, okay. It used to be Yunichi Masuda. <laughs> anyway, that guy, his uh, favorite Pokemon, and now it's Victini, which is dumb because Pichu is way cuter than Victini. But uh, you know, just a little fun fact. Uh, Masuda is the game game director of Pokemon. So the name Pichu comes from the words Pika Pika, which means, uh, what fuck, sparkle. It's Onomatopoeia. I don't know what that means. Onomatopoeia for sparkle. And Choo Choo which is the sound of squeaking. 
Sparkly Squeaks. Five out of five. Next up is one of my favorite baby Pokemon, Cleffa. Now, Cleffa is the first baby evolution of Clefairy. Now, I am a big fan of the Clefairy line. I just think it's great. But Cleffa is just the most adorable, tiny little precious star baby. Aww. Cleffa get attracted to meteor showers and this kind of means that if you see a Cleffa the chance of a meteor shower is actually increased which is awesome so if you ever see a Cleffa just keep looking at the sky for meteor showers. Also Cleffa likes to dance. Cute as fuck. Pokemon Diamond says its silhouette is like a star. It is believed to arrive riding on shooting stars. Guys, Cleffa is Kirby. What? Cleffa gets a 5 out of 5. No doubt about it. Love it. Love it. Our next baby Pokemon is Igglybuff, which is the first evolution from Jigglypuff. Now, since it is a baby, its vocal cords haven't been developed that well yet, which means that it can sing, but not for a very long time. And what it does is... And it gets a sore throat when it sings too much. So what it does is it goes to a river and gurgles some water to make its throat less sore. Now, I am not a big fan of Igglybuff because it looks kind of weird. I don't know. I, I, I don't think they did the design the best way they could have. It's cute, but it's like, eh, could have been cuter. Is what I think, personally. Maybe you love it. I don't know. Okay, so a fun Pokedex fact about Igglybuff is from Pokemon Gold. It has a very soft body. If it starts to roll, it will bounce all over and be impossible to stop. <laughs> It's fucking cute! Now in English, Igglybuff obviously comes from Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, they kind of wanted to sound the same, but in German it's called... Let me get this right... Fluffeluff, 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 which comes from fluff. I mean, yeah. Fluffeluff gets three out of five. <laughs> Next up is Togepi, which is also a baby Pokemon, and in Pokemon Gold and Silver, of course, it's the Pokemon that comes out of the egg and is now your friend and is cute as heck. In the anime, it was the first Johto Pokemon that actually like had a really major role in the anime, if you don't count the Hutu <laughs> Ash sees on its first day. Togepi just is like a, it has, it's a Pokemon that has a place in your heart, right? Like it is fucking cute. The only thing you saw was Misty walking around with it and it going Togepi and all this with the fingers and stuff. I think, I think Togepi is adorable as hell. Togepi can actually siphon the energy of others, like the happy energy and give it to people who are down, which is awesome. I think it's such a great quality. It's like me. I do that. Here's a fun Pokedex fact from Pokemon Silver. A proverb claims that happiness will come to anyone who can make a sleeping Togepi stand up. I'm assuming that when a Togepi sleeps, like, it, it becomes the little eggy thing and then it's hard to, like, make it stand up. I'm sure I could do it because I'm great with eggs. There really isn't much more I have to say about Togepi apart from a, a fart. Apart from that, Togepi is seen as, like, a, a Pokemon that brings joy into the world and that's what I really like about it. Togepi for me is a 5 out of 5. I mean, what else? What else? Togepi evolves into Togetic and for some reason not a lot of people know that because, I don't know, maybe they don't like to evolve their Togepi or they don't train their baby Togepi. I do. I love Togetic. I think it's fucking cute. Togetic is a Pokemon that spreads happiness just like Togepi does, but what it does is it, is it goes around the world looking for kind-hearted people to spread its joy dust all over the people's and make them happy again. I think that's great, personally. I mean, come on, it's cute as hell. Pokemon Gold says, they say that it will appear before kind-hearted, caring people and shower them with happiness. They deserve it. Good job, Togetic. Four out of five. Next up is 177 Natu. Now, I really, really like Natu. I don't know why it has this certain appeal to me. It's kind of like a Native American thing. I mean, I think. I think I read that too. All oh, right, South American. I mean, whatever. It has this spiritual vibe about it, which I think is really interesting and cool. Natu is, is, is cute as hell. It is a prophetic Pokemon, so it can kind of like see what's going to happen in the future, but that also makes it very easily spooked. A thing I like about Natu is that it stares at something until it moves. Here's a Pokedex entry from Pokemon Pearl. It picks fruit from cactus plants, deftly avoiding buds and spines. It seems to skip about to move. 
That's cute. I only chose that one because it has the word cactus in it and I'm wearing a cactus shirt. It's not actually really interesting. Nature's name comes from the word nature, which has been revealed by a guy who is the naming guy for Pokemon. So that's it. It comes from nature. It's true. Nothing else you can say about it. Also, all the names are the same in all languages and Natu gets 5 out of 5 from me. Psychic flying, yeah, I love it. The last one of today is Zatu, which is, again, one of... It's the evolved version of, of Natu, of course, but it's, again, one of those um, South American Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of a totem pole, I guess. Zatu is a Pokemon that stands still all day like a totem pole, and it can see into the future with its right eye and into the past with its left eye. This is kind of cool, but the reason it doesn't move, apparently, is because it is scared of the visions coming true, and that really makes me kind of sad, because if the visions are bad, I mean, if they're good visions, he would probably move, but they're apparently bad visions, so I hope the world is not doomed. Zatu is called Zatu for two reasons. One is that the Pokemon company has a desire to have a Pokemon start with each letter of the alphabet throughout the entire Pokemon thingy, so they had to have an X. Makes sense. Another thing is that it may come from a Zot, which is some type of South American totem pole. I told you, totem pole! I didn't actually read it until two seconds ago because I'm great at preparing. Zatu is, I think Zatu is an awesome Pokemon and again, flying psychic is, is a type I love. Zatu gets five out of five. Underrated Pokemon, Zatu. Underrated. Love that guy. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed my ramblings about Pokemon today. I will see you again next week. Please check out my previous video up here somewhere. And I uh, have wish you a good week. Oh, right. Next week, we're starting with one of my favorite electrical Pokemon. Mareep. It's a cutie. <laughs>